Hey, Robin from Auto Geek. Scott with Lake Country Manufacturing. Scott, tell me about this bucket here on the table. This is our Pad Washer 4000. This is used for cleaning pads, you know, on the fly or when you're done at the end of the day. It doesn't matter either way. Okay, what's the best practice to use this? Tell me how it operates. Okay, so the first thing you do is you pull off the, the catch basin, you lift it up. It comes with a packet of Snappy Clean, which is our pad cleaner. You're gonna pour it in the bucket. You're gonna fill the bucket with about one and a half gallons of water. You're gonna put the catch basin back in, which is the second bucket. You put the pump back on, snap it into place. You're gonna push down on this wash plate here and you're gonna prime it until the water comes out. Once the water comes out, you can take your polisher with the pad on it, you run it over the wash plate, you push down. As you push down, the solution will come into the pad. You'll run the pad on about, you know, speed one to two, whether it's rotary, force rotation, DA, you might have to spin it a little bit faster. You're gonna run it over this wash plate. The wash plate has ridges. It's gonna help that solution squeeze out of the pad. And then you'll lift it up and you'll spin it inside the bucket. So once it's uh, almost dry, you can either keep going or put the pad on the side and come back to it once it's fully dry. So what happens with the gray water, the dirty water? So the, the gray water or the dirty water gets collected in the catch basin. So you will never use dirty water to clean your pad. When, when it stops pumping water, that means you're out of cleaning solution and it's time to drain. So the whole time you're using this bucket and you're using your machine on top, you spend about speed one to two, let it spin, and then it's always clean, fresh water coming into it with your cleaning solution, correct? Correct. It's on the speed thing. You probably have to turn it up when you're spinning it dry. But other than that, when you're running the solution, run it a little slower. And when you say spinning and dry, how dry is your pad typically? Can you go right back to work with it? You, you can. It's going to be a little damp, but not, it, it gets pretty dry. Thanks for having us in your shop today, Scott. For more information on this product and others from Lake Country Manufacturing, go to autogeek.com.